Discord play. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with Juju Man 678 and Larry 101010. I'm still here. And we still have this kid. Eagerly won. Okay, so first off, <clears throat> we are I was I was screwing around because I didn't know where we left last left off. I didn't know if we'd battled this girl, I forgot. <laughs> Okay, so not running no Pokemon doing that. Oh no. Now we're gonna go inside the gym and talk to Daddy Kins. Daddy Kins? Daddy Kins. Daddy Kins. By the way, this is the fifth gym. Yes, or this is the fifth gym, right? Yeah, I think it's the fifth gym. This is the fifth gym later. So we will be back here later. Obviously. We'll come back to this place. And this is Wally. Wow. Wow. For those of you who are too lazy to read the uh, <laughs> caption. I know I usually am. Mm. It's not important. I just, I just randomly mash the buttons. Through it. Yeah, I just mash buttons through it. Everything usually runs through itself. Half the stuff they say isn't important. True. See, I thought this was funny. I think he never uses that zigzagoon or linoon later in the game. It's usually just like slack off, figure off, and slaking. When you're talking about the gym, I'm like, that's because Wally gives it back. Yeah. Wally's gonna go catch a Pokemon. Which is kind of stupid because he runs into this his first time. And yeah. It's like 20 minutes. He runs into his routes the first time. I took 20 minutes. And well, so technically, on recording, I got it on my second encounter, but still. It took me like 20 minutes to do it. Okay, so he just basically demolishes his walls and then catches it. It's because all it knows is growl. Yeah. So it's level six? Mm, yeah, until it gets level six, where it will learn confusion. Which makes me wonder, if he gives back this Zigzagoon, mm -hmm. how does he train up his routes? Um. And why does he bring it back before he throws the ball? So you can watch him throw it? <laughs> He just so happens to get it his first try, too. Oh, I'm hungry and tired and thirsty. And sore. And sore. Oh, gotcha! We went for a walk. Yeah, at least you never get out of the house. Are you kidding? We went to the park. That's, what, yeah, that's why I'm all it. sore. Peter totter Spinning wheel thing, the jiggy. Yeah, then the... Merry go? Is it? No, not merry go round. What is the spinny thing? Post in the comments what the spinny thing is. I we forgot you. what it was called. I forgot what the spinny it's thing. It's not a merry go round. Merry go round is the one that has the electricity. I just call it the spin thing. The spinny thing. The spin thing. The throw up matron. The throw up matron. Gravitron. Gravitron is always my favorite ride. It makes me throw up when I go on. Well, it makes. <laughs> hit me. <laughs> also, in the. Comments, post in what your favorite fair, circus, whatever ride is. Mine is the Gravitron. What's, what's, what's yours, Larry? Mine is the little choo choo trade thingy. Since I was five, that's been my favorite. Okay. Oh, and then we're talking to this guy who just pretty much says we're like virtually less than a rookie. Yeah. I'm sure you meet him later in the game several times. I'm sure. Okay, so we're just gonna go battle some traitors. This kid likes to leave. He likes to leave his footprints in the sand because it's fun and boring at the same I, time. I get bored leaving my footprints in sand, honestly. Mm -hmm. But he's got a zigzagoon. We're totally gonna dominate with our mic. With our Rops. Rops doesn't know crap. Okay, we go. <sighs> and it gets a critical, which is essentially the same as my regular tackle. It's still gonna be quite boring in the beginning. It's just tackle, tackle, tackle. Hey, our rods grew to level five. No. Wow. 
Why do you have toast? That's not toast, that's bread. Go Ralt. And a C dot. Okay, I'll be honest. I was afraid the C dot would hit me with bide, so I think I used mud slap like 30 times in this. And I I think it still hits me with bide. Do we lose? No, we win, because it's kind of funny because I'm all freaking out that bide's gonna do a lot of damage to me. And it only does like six damage. <laughs> Not even like four damage actually. Uh, at least it's a little more interesting. Now we got water gun in there. Yeah, yeah. But still, you're using tackle. <laughs> Why use tackle? Because I wanted to know if, if I wanted to know if water gun or tackle would do more damage. For good. Water gun. Water. T dot is throwing energy. See, I'm using mud slap because I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit by it. Ow, God. Oh. And see, I still get hit by it, and then it does four damage. We'd also like to make a shout out to our friend, MES One RS. Thanks for subscribing, bro. Okay. That was out of nowhere. <laughs> You are in 9 R Productions heart. Whatever. What are you pouring? Okay. That lady there will just tell you to trainers that look at you will challenge you to battles. And that lady up there with the pink hair, she heals your Pokemon if you talk to her. Obviously. Again, who doesn't know that? A lot of people. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we do need some ideas for a team, so if you have any ideas, let us know. Otherwise, we're just gonna. I don't think I get. I don't think I get barely anywhere in this episode. Uh, I think I just like get into the woods, and that's about it. A couple of trainer battles, at least. Get something out of the way. Uh. Never skip a trainer battle. We 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 strongly suggest this. Never skip a trainer battle. I cannot stress this enough. If you skip it, we'll find you. <laughs> we will find you. We no longer have the little dog with us. Little dog's downstairs. Little doggy. Splash. Yeah, the most it's the legendary technique. Splash. The most powerful of any technique. You can't do it. And it can't do anything. To be honest, my favorite fish Pokemon is Magikarp. Nobody likes the frickin' Feebass. I love Feebass. Feebass is ugly. And there is the uh, Mr. Briny's cottage. We will be coming back there later. He's not there right now. He's out looking for his darling Pico. Orange barrels, orange barrels. Now I have the orange barrel song stuck in my head. No! People, it'll, it'll get stuck in your head. Every party needs a pooper. That's why they invited you. Party pooper. Party pooper. <laughs> Ralts. Or Ralts. Ralts is the party pooper. Oh. We, we have a male Ralts. A male Ralts, meaning we're, we're going to have a crossdresser? Great. Crossdressing Ralts. Because Gallade wasn't introduced till. Zeno. Yeah. Well, it's leveled up and learned confusion. Probably its best move. We found out it learns at level six, so there's that. Yeah. Sorry for our mistake in the uh, last video. And now we made it to Petalburg Woods. 
And war more ball. war balls. War ball. War ball. Rob. Rob smash. Who now knows confusion? So now it can fight back. And if you're going this way, whatever can swap from you, it'll be lazy. Yeah, we haven't gone over what Pokemon were in the last couple routes. Well, they'll figure out for themselves. <laughs> Obviously, they don't. They have some problems. In the last couple routes, they were just basically the same Pokemon, Poochyana and Blurple. Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. Maybe if you're lucky, you'll get a Talo. Uh, low tab, a couple places. Low tab. And routes. And a route. That guy's a jerk. He deliberately stayed in my way. And right here, you can get another potion. Another one. Just saying. Lots of potions. Then <laughs> I run into one step and I run into another Pokemon medal with Poochyana. Okay, here in Paddleburg Woods. We're probably just gonna run into Poochianas and a slack off here and there. Yeah, if you don't have your walls doing a slack off. A slack off the first one? Yeah. And then I probably both the lazy. There are some shroomish in this place. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh As a matter of fact, you know, there's a guy later up in the woods that we meet and he's like he's look he loves shroomish and that's why he's here. He's looking for shroomish. He loves them. Just like how we love Wampers. We just, Warball. we love them to death. Warball! And right here we have this lady who just says, stealing Pokemon is wrong. Only throw a Pokeball is at wild Pokemon. And then we have a Pokeball. If you try to throw a Pokeball at a uh, trainer's Pokemon, you will lose a Pokeball. And it will not work. He will toss it back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> Trainer tips. I read the signs. I thought it had something important to say. It's essentially saying what I'm doing with routes. Yeah. Switch out to level up a weak one. A weak Pokemon. Okay, so that, you know, pretty much.